Hi guys, I'm so glad you stopped by today. If you're new to my channel or if you're returning, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice and then hit all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up and I would love it if you left me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a challenge, and this challenge is called The Look for Less. It's a monthly challenge, and it's hosted by Yami of the Latina Next Door. And this month, her co-host is Creative on the Cheap. I will leave a link to both of their channels down below in the description box. I will also leave a link to the playlist so that you can see the other content creators participating in this challenge. So I went online as usual to find a home decor item that I can recreate for less. And I came across this website called Vanilla Wood. I'd never heard of Vanilla Wood before, but they had some really interesting items on here. When you get a chance, check them out. I'll leave the link down below in my description box. So I came across this marble tray. I knew I could recreate it. I had been thinking about making one anyway for a video, for an upcoming video that I will be using it in. So you guys make sure you stay tuned for that. And when I looked at the price for $150, I knew I could make it for less than that. Luckily, all the components that I need to recreate this tray, I already had. So I'm going to take these wooden beads outside and paint them. And then I'm going to use E6000 to glue those onto the bottom because I do want them to be permanent. But for the gold handles, I am going to use hot glue because I do not want them to be permanent. So let's get started. So as you can see, I took the beads outside. I painted them gold. I tried to get them to match the handles as much as possible. I think I got sort of close. And I think I'm going to put those on first. And as I said earlier, I got this marble tile from um, Home Depot. I got it back in January. As I said earlier, I was considering making a marble tray and I had put it off. So I thought this is the perfect time to recreate this marble tray. And you'll also see it featured again in an upcoming video. So this is the back side of the tile, which is still kind of pretty up. I always work on a paper towel surface when I use glue because I'm just not very neat. I see some of you all out there just working with your glue guns and your E6000 and you never spill a drop. I always spill mine. So. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta let those dry for a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, so now the feet are on and dried. And now I'm trying to decide if I wanted to embellish a little bit with some, I had some gold washi tape that I thought would go really well. So I'm just going to run a strip around all four sides.
And again, these are just decorative. I will not be lifting the tray by these at all. When I find the ones that I want, there were some that were leaf shaped that I really want. So um, when I find those, I'll actually put those on with E6000. And hopefully I'll have that done before um, the next video that will feature this as well. I'm going to use some of these felt pads to protect my furniture because it looked as though some of that gold paint was coming off of the wooden feet that I painted gold. I love the gold washi tape that I added on the on the sides. I think it's really pretty. I considered using my um, oil-based paint, my Sharpie pen, to trace around the sides to give me that extra pop. And then I ran across the washi tape and I decided to use that instead. And I like it. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed my marble tray video. I also want to thank the Latina Next Door and Creative on the Cheap for inviting me to participate in this collaboration. For all my returning subscribers, thank you. I appreciate your support. And for all my new subscribers, welcome and thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the Creative Glam Team. I appreciate you too. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice and then hit all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. At the end of this video, you'll see a couple video links. Click one to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, stay safe, stay home, and stay tuned in. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!